What's up guys, this is N. Hayes and welcome to episode number 4 of the custom map tutorial series. This is going to be a very special episode where I'm going to show you some cool tricks I've picked up recently that I don't think I've ever seen done before. Um, I know the last few episodes have been a little boring covering just the basics of everything so I decided to throw this in a little earlier than I was planning on just to spice things up a little bit and I don't know keep things fresh so I'm going to it's going to be all about the world edit replace brush um, this is a really simple tool that I think probably gets overlooked by a lot of people just because of how simple it is but it is something that I use quite often and um, I just recently found some really cool tricks you can do with it that I think is going to make uh, a lot of people's building experience a lot better so let me show you first of all um, I was ma mainly using it for creating flush doors or flush hatches I'm sorry and you can create them so they aren't attached to anything it's kinda nice but recently I found out that you can make this new like furniture with it by using the bottom part of a bed and using it the opposite orientation on the other side so it looks kinda like furniture it looks I think pretty cool and then I started playing around with it even more and put sign blocks around it you can do either way the top or the bottom here's another example is like a U shape also I want to mention that when they are connected double like that you can use them as a normal bed which is a really cool feature here's just some little lighting here's some wooden stairs next to them some more signs a texture long one uh, another little lighting idea I came up with I don't think I've really seen that before just some signs around a torch um, some boxed up chests make them look like I don't know old crates or something they're still usable like that uh, this is a crazy like little pillar uh, it's the piston extensions with a fence block in between them I thought that looks kinda cool it kinda the graphic kinda glitches when you move around but I don't know it was kinda neat I thought um, here's another cool little chest design that I don't think I've ever really seen you can kinda like oops I'll see that's the bad part about some of these designs is especially the trapdoor ones the they're really unstable where if they get any block updates they will disappear the signs don't do that um, the signs are pretty much stable where you, they can like you can put blocks next to them and they won't disappear but the trapdoors do have that problem um, here's another design this at one you can actually only do an MC edit because you can't normally even with this world edit replace brush you can't normally put two trapdoors uh, next to each other so I had to do that in MC edit but I thought that looks really cool like that so it's another design here's one just with signs behind it you can do this one in game just because the trapdoors are not uh, next to each other um, here's another little lighting idea kind of the same thing as uh, the chest the torch um, and here's the same thing even more but with this is uh, the bottom part of a door you can do this little trick too so it's kind of neat with a little trap door on top uh, using some snow as a tabletop this is a like larger size bed I put together I don't think it really looks that great but uh, it's kind of cool uh, some chairs um, these are like some little tables table designs I put together a trap door on top of there with some signs around it with using the piston I don't know what this was supposed to be I just thought it kind of looked cool something different um, a detector rail on top of some fence this little table I don't know something different a uh, trap door on top of the fence um, some glowstone um, underneath some glass with trap doors all around it um, here's like a little chicken coop I made a little chicken in there a little dog house with a flush trap door um, also another really special thing I found out just within the last week is uh, invisible chest block glitches that actually can support the player um, this I found out I actually I don't know what made me do this but I was just 
um, messing around with world edit, and I decided to set a whole huge like area just with chests, just solid chests, and like noticed that there was some crazy glitching where like only a few of them showed up, and everything else had turned into like these invisible like blocks that are actually like weird chests, like with a glitched interface. Um, but you can actually stand on them. They'll block your, like, you can't move through them. They will support items when you throw them on them. And they're, like, crazy easy to make. The only uh, downfall is that there has to be, there's going to be an invisible, or there will be a visible uh, section of chests at one end of it. But right here, see, these are uh, separate from here. Here is a whole line of them, and these are all connected to these chests down here. So you could essentially make something so long that the chests like wouldn't even be visible from where you would actually want to use it from. But um, I never really had seen a. There's another invisible block that uh, ID number 36 you can use. That's part of how pistons work, but it doesn't. Uh, it will support sand. But you can move through it, and items will fall through it, and I'm pretty sure mobs will can go through them too. So I thought this was kind of crazy. And even just the fact that invisible chest with this glitched UI, and it's so easy to do. Um, I'm about to show you how to do all this. Okay, to get started, you're going to need a few items first. Um, you're going to need stone, stick, some beds, some trap doors, and some signs. Um, the only th reason we have a stick is because that's what I normally use to bind uh, my brushes to. And that is what this is going to be all about. I'm going to show you how this replace brush works, which is just slash slash REPL, and what block you want to normally have it replaced with. So we're going to go with the stone just to show you how this works. Now whenever you right click with that stick, it is going to change the current block to uh, stone. Now that's the basic functionality of it. And it doesn't really seem like it's that powerful, but it's really nice because it's essentially giving you any block around you uh, like able to use at any time. You don't really have to have like, like let's say I break one of these. Well, I'm not going to because I don't want them to start disappearing. But let's say we just have a stone block here and I didn't have any grass in my inventory. You can just left click and then right click on there and it turns it to grass. So that's one reason I use it a lot. But another really nice thing about it is when you left click on things, it's also picking up its damage values, which uh, controls the orientation and other things. So that's what allows us to do all that stuff over there. Here, let me speed up. Okay. So first you want to put down one stone block and then you're going to surround it completely with signs. And this is just kind of a little starting base to uh, give us something to start with, to left click on basically. And there's put down a bed and put down a bed going the opposite way. Now normally you can't put signs on a bed because it'll give you that message and just because the game I don't think normally allows it. But one nice thing about this, you can just put stone right next to it, get your replace brush, click on the sign that's on this side. You want to get the right orientation, otherwise if you did this one, the sign would be like sticking right here on this edge where that's not what we want it. We want it right against the bed. So we click on that, you come over here, click here, and now you can put signs on the bed. And to get the furniture style, you just click on this part of the opposite end and then right click there and now you have some of that furniture you can put sides on it by clicking that orientation sometimes you have to left click off to the side first or right click some it's weird world that it has a bug whereas sometimes it doesn't always take your first point you click on so there you have it let's clean up this little grass and that's how you make the basic bench and everything else over there was pretty much with made with that same style you just have to you start like with I what I did was with this and then you put stone all around it and just take your signs with your replace brush and you can pretty much do all that over there and there is actually a special way you have to do the half ones 
I'll show you. You have to do it in a special order. Like if you want to do a half one with signs around it, you have to start with the sides here. Get, grab that side and then do the back. Because the half beds are actually, oh. Not even that worked. What happened? I'm not really sure. See, it's got some bugs to it. But anyways, that's how you do that. I'll show you real quick quick how to do the flush doors. Boom, boom. Okay, for the trap doors, if you want it to be flush with this side, completely flush, you'd actually be going on this side. But if you want it to stick out, like right here, we're going to have it put down in here, on this side. And it's just the way the trapdoor actually sits against things. So there, that one sticks out. Oops, click right on the hinge. Make sure to click right on the hinge when doing trapdoors. And then now we have one that's completely flush. We can just break these. And that's how you get the flush trapdoors. Easy as that. And also for the chests, that little chest trick I showed you, one way you can do it is just by putting a line, whoops, putting a line down a stone or whatever and doing replace chest. So you click once, you click twice, and it creates a normal one. But then it looks like it's shifting it down. And all these are the invisible blocks now. And you can also actually do that just by let me just do this. Uh, let me get, grab my wand real quick. You can also just set them with normal set command too. Come on. So just set chest. And now everything to the right. It always goes a certain orientation the chest does. So now we have these invisible invisible blocks that are pretty crazy. So that's how you do that. And that pretty much covers everything. So I uh, hope you guys learned something from this. Make sure to give it a like if you really liked it, favorite it, and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next episode.